Hi everyone, my name is Christian from Solatech and in this short demonstration video I'm going to show you how to renumber wires, cables, terminal strips or component marks. What you can see on my screen here is a power schematic for a project that I've created and you might get into a situation where you want to reuse part of your circuitry and place it on your schematic, however you notice that you've got an cable W5 or a cable W3 before W1 or maybe even a terminal strip and with terminals 8, 9 and 10 and then next to it you've got 1, 2 and 3. So what we can do in SolidWorks Electrical is we can use the renumber function or update marks and that will actually renumber your project so that it makes more sense. Let me show you what I mean. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to reuse this piece of circuitry over here. So my motor protection and starter circuit. And I'm just going to select it all and drag and drop that into my macro screen. What this will do is it will create a short macro or a small macro that I can keep using in all different projects. Now I will drag and drop that into its new position, which is going to be over here. So it's actually going to be before the actual original circuit that I've selected. Now if I zoom in now, you can automatically see that all the marks have been updated to their unique numbers. However, I've got a terminal strip X1 with terminals 8, 9 and 10. And if I zoom in a bit more, you can see that I've got a cable W6, um, which is also automatically assigned. So everything is still correct. Um, however, it might not be nice to have got W6 and terminal strip 8, 9 and 10 or terminals 8, 9 and 10 before cable number 1 and terminals 1, 2 and 3. Sometimes that just doesn't make sense. So what we can do is, um, if I just quickly show you that everything is still wired up inside my terminal editor, you can notice here we've got W1, W3, W2 and W6. Now what we can do is we can go to the process tab up here and we can select the button update marks and that will actually recalculate all the project marks. Now project marks we can update them or we can actually recalculate all of them. We can select the ones that we want to use. Now in this case I want to renumber terminals and cables but of course you can also do the same thing with component marks and the actual terminal strips itself. If I click on OK now it gives me one more morning and I'll click yes and if I zoom in now you can see that the motor that it last placed has now terminals 1, 2 and 3 with cable assigned number 1. Next we've got the other one 4, 5 and 6 with cable W2. How does this look in my terminal strip editor? We can see here W1, that's the one we've created with terminals 1, 2 and 3. Then we've got 4, 5, 6, 9 and 10. We can update these as well. We just have to, we can select them over here. So if you want to select those three, we can then move them up or down if you want to have them ordered um, sequentially as well. Thank you for watching guys.